If you're like me, you might have missed what's going on with the Indiana Pacers recently. Coach Vogel is still there. Paul George has suffered through a shooting slump after another hot start to the season. And the Pacers have gone from a team that was 18-14 and 14 at the end of December to a team that has struggled since, going 7-9. and nine. Where their net rating was plus .3.1 for those first two months, it has now shrunk to plus 1.5 as their offense has let them down while their elite defense has kept them as close as possible. In the midst of the exhaust fumes threatening to choke the Pacers, a gas mask has appeared in the name of Miles Turner. After returning from a serious thumb injury that forced him to miss 21 games, he's been on a tear the last eight. Averaging 17.5 points, 7 rebounds, 2.9 blocks, and shooting a blistering 56% in 30 minutes a game, Turner has been opening eyes around the league, making people wonder how he fell to the 11th pick of the draft. Let's start with his postgame, which is a bit of a throwback, as he is a traditional back-to-the-basket player with an extraordinary face-up jumper. He's able to find the shot over either shoulder with a very quick release that still maintains a very light touch. He also displays some of the old-school go-to moves like a running hook, and he's terrific using his strong body to duck in and command space in the lane, yet then show off his quickness with a spin move and feathery soft touch off the glass. Turner has good command of the fundamentals. For example, in these two clips, notice how he does not bring the ball down after getting the lob, protecting it from any would-be little guard thievery. And the Pacers do a nice job of having him screen the ball, then roll to the hoop for a post-up on the opposite side, where he displays a gorgeous step-back face-up jumper. In the pick and roll, I really like how quickly he can get into his shot after the catch, exploiting the openings the guards help create for him in the paint. But he does get going a little too fast at times, trying to get the ball in the hoop before he's got total control of his body and or the ball. And with players like Monte Ellis who can attack into the paint, he's a great cutter who knows how to finish near the rim with terrific touch off the glass, displaying great hands, or with King Kong ferocity, showing off severe athletic ability. What's more exciting is that this traditional 6'11 big man can pick and pop from 20 feet, and better yet, he uses the hop to quickly get in rhythm and find the proper alignment. This is a matchup nightmare for opponents that are going to want to put a slower big man on him to take away the post-ups. He's also a tough cover in the Pacers offense, setting multiple off-ball screens that will serve to take his man's focus off of him, and he can then find some daylight to catch and shoot. He's proven he doesn't need much room to get this off and find success. Most big men in transition like to get to the paint first before locating who they're guarding, and this is a shot Miles Turner can get several times a game. As you can already see, Turner is super athletic and has a real motor down the court. If he stays focused on rim running in transition, he should be a guy who consistently beats his man down the court, getting point blank shots at the rim and getting the other team in foul trouble. Defensively, he is wise beyond his years. He shows great understanding of off-ball positioning, scans well, shows good balance and footwork, and goes after defensive rebounds. Over the past eight games, he leads the team in rebound percentage among regulars, and as his minutes have increased, Indiana has relied more and more on him to clean the glass. You might ask, does he contest shots well? Does he? He is already good at blocking shots and keeping the ball in play rather than knocking him into the stands and giving the offense another shot. And he seems to have a knack for combining the block shot and the rebound all in one, something that will no doubt serve to intimidate opponents. His timing to come over and cover for his teammates is impeccable, allowing them to pressure the ball more without as much fear of getting scored on in the paint. He can block them in the hand of the shooter or go get them in the air as his explosive leaping gets him there quick. If you don't have the name Miles Turner on the tip of your tongue, you better start practicing. As Frank Vogel has turned up the minutes for him, he has produced more and more. While guys like Carl Anthony Towns and Kristaps Porzingis have gotten more publicity, 
I think this guy is right behind them in terms of ability and effect on the game. While the Pacers are struggling right now to stay on the road, one thing is for sure, I can see for miles. I can see for miles.